All right, guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about anime. We're going to talk about Crunchyroll firing one of their voice actresses after she participated in a Chainsaw Man fan dub. So Crun Crunchyroll has the rights to Chainsaw Man, and apparently she violated her contract by doing the fan dub, and uh, they told her she could tell people why she got fired. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Uh, lots of people talking about it this morning. And yeah, you gotta read the fine print, you know? Sometimes there's a non-compete, uh, you know, especially with uh, any kind of creative endeavor. And a lot of these uh, companies are not real happy about their, their uh, people that they're paying to work on official versions of dubs or cartoons or whatever, working on uh, fan versions because it does, in their, their eyes, in their eyes, encourage piracy. But let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 274,000 subs. We'd like for you to join us at the Reef, so hit the subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel. Uh, gotta give a hat tip to Jacob Berry, who wrote this on clownfishtv.com. Did we mention we have clownfishtv.com? Yeah, we're trying to build up clownfishtv.com. Look, we've got our own, our own anime news site here. Look at this. Look at all this anime news. Look at this. You want to go to clownfishtv.com uh, for anime news, right? Because some of these other anime news sites don't don't like you very much. Uh, they'll call you Nazis. We've been called Nazis by people working at, at other anime news sites. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, uh, here's a story. Voice actress fired by Crunchyroll after participating in Chainsaw Man fan dub. Classroom of the Elite voice actress Anna Lazare Gishi, I think that's how you pronounce her name, will no longer be voicing the character of Kikyo Koshida in the anime after the announcement she had been fired by Crunchyroll. Uh, she said she was let go following her participation in a fan dub of a Chainsaw Man trailer. So not even an episode, but a trailer. Chainsaw Man is set to be released in October of 2022, but no official dub trailer for the show was dropped except for the fan-made one that has been making the rounds on social media where you can hear her voice, uh, Anime Senpai reports. We'll, we'll go out to that article as well. Uh, following a call from Crunchyroll informing me that I have the right to report this, I'm announcing I will no longer be playing the role of Kikio Kishida in Classroom of the Elite. The reason they gave me was a decision made after my Chainsaw Man fan dub. I would have liked a friendly solution. Now, she's French. We'll go out and see what she actually said. Like deleting the fan dub but they didn't offer it to me. They fired me directly for it, and it would also be a decision that would cross the Atlantic, the actress wrote on social media. So she is like perma-banned from Crunchyroll. She continued, I must admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to be fired for an amateur dub. I started with the fan dub, and now they kicked me out for it. For the new generation, the fan dub is one of the best formats to improve and show what you're worth. Nowadays, more and more fan dubbers become professional dubbing actors based on effort, perseverance, and perseverance, more perseverance, and even more perseverance. This, this is true. It's sort of like um, the minor leagues, but again, these companies now, they're so worried about piracy. But the thing is, is when you do this, you're actually gonna encourage more piracy. I don't think this is a very good look for Crunchyroll. I think they should have pulled her aside and said, hey, uh, you're new to this, you can't do this. You know, you can't you you can't work for what we consider to be the competition, which is uh, you know fan dubs and piracy. You can't do that while you're working for us. Um, take it down, you know, slap on the wrist, and, and we go from here. But no, they fired her on the spot. Uh, I hope this is an isolated case. I wish the best to the actress who will play Kikio after me. And of course, I ask you not to insult or harass her in any way. This decision is not up to her. Whoever she is, I wish her the best. Crunchyroll has made no comment as of the writing of this article, nor have they announced who will take over the role. Um, yeah, so this is uh, kind of crazy. You can see the trailer for yourself. I don't want to play too much. I don't want Crunchyroll to come after me. Now, Crunchyroll currently is, they're kind of on a tear. They bought right stuff. Um, they, they're more or less, I think, Funimation in a Crunchyroll suit at this point, but uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of these dub companies, a lot of these manga publishers are really ramping up efforts to crack down on fan dubs. Um, 
you know, we've seen it with Manga too. You're not allowed to host stuff. I mean, they're, they're even getting to the point now where it's like if you put up panels, panels from Manga that they're going to hit you with a copyright strike or something. Um, but yeah, don't harass the actress. Um, uh, but Chainsaw Man is incredibly popular. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what harm they thought <laughs> of dubbing a trailer, but probably did violate something in her contract. You know, but uh, there it is. Lots of people talking about it. Here's the original thread. Um, here's the uh, excerpt in question. Still serves as a teaser for the Chainsaw Man trailer fan dub, which is coming soon. How long until they shut this down? How long until they shut down the, say, hey, you can't do this because... Um, it's our copyrighted uh, uh, content, and we don't want you to do fan dubs. You know, it's even worse than a strike. It was ironic. Um, question: What happens? This uh, question: of The story in Chainsaw Man: What happens? U.S. These are all translated from French. Um, I, apparently, it's going to cross the Atlantic too. You know, what are you doing, Crunchyroll? If you're assassins, she was perfect. Um, strange. Yeah, so I don't know if there's more to it or not, but a lot of people talking about this, the fact that you can be terminated. So apparently you can be terminated for doing a fan dub, but some people can be accused of uh, naughtiness and <laughs> they, don't get, they don't get terminated. Um, other people, depending on your what, what your political beliefs are, apparently, uh, can be accused of something, have zero proof of any of these, these uh, dirty deeds happening, and um, still get get terminated, you know. It's just it's it's weird. It's it's a very weird thing. But yeah, definitely, if you guys are thinking about getting into the anime dub industry, realize there's a lot of uh, red tape you got to go through. Uh, a lot of politics, a lot of hoops. Uh, your peers uh, on Twitter, you got to be afraid of. And uh, apparently, you got to read your contract really well because you don't want to do anything that's going to get you fired from what I think was her first job or one of her first jobs. Um, so there we go, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, and go out to clownfishtv.com. Again, we're trying to build out the site. Um, more content over there than we put on YouTube because we can't possibly cover everything. So we got lots of news on toys and news on uh, the general animation industry. Of course, you know you can find all of our videos on here as well. But uh, yeah, lots of lots of stuff, comic book news, uh, we are really trying to ramp this up. So I'll talk to you later.